going to go ahead and run the database engine tuning advisor and then finally review the recommendations so quite a few things going on today so without any further delay let's jump into our setup uh, first thing I want uh, to do is actually let's go ahead uh, go to the SQL Server Management Studio I am connecting to my database uh, which is Northwind 2 we the two tables we will be focusing on are uh, customers 2 which simply is a copy of customers the main difference between this and 2 is that uh, as you can notice we have a few uh, indices here but in customers 2 we do not have any uh, indexes again uh, essentially if, if I do a real quick count in the query I'm going to go ahead and do a select count from customers this is the original table you will notice that we have I think we only have maybe uh, 800 rows or something like that actually not even 800 uh, we only have 90 91 customers but in the second one we have 49,000 okay so what I did is I basically took the original table and I uh, really made made copies of the data by you know using things like left function right function and whatnot and I'm going to go ahead and copy this and do the same thing for the orders table we can check this one first so in here we have about 300,000 rows in the original table we have 830 again we have uh, really what we have done is made copies of the the tables okay and uh, just to tell you again in the orders table we do have some indexes in the orders 2 table we do not have we actually have one which is just the primary key which we will not really be looking at so I did want to show you that first before I uh, really dig deeper into the queries I am going to uh, also show you that I am running a profiler trace in fact let me go ahead and clear the trace window I am capturing uh, essentially the Northwind database and uh, let me show you when I run this statement which is just selecting the top under rows from customer to where the city is equal to London when I do that I should be capturing activity in here okay and uh, so we have uh, the SQL statements here CPU number of read writes duration and whatnot all that information is in, in here so this will be running at the end of uh, this trace we will go ahead and capture this file in fact it is being saved to a file and we will load up the file from the profiler into the database uh, engine tuning advisor okay so let me go ahead and look at some of these statements the first one is really based on the customers uh, table okay we are um, looks like we are pulling some information from uh, London UK uh, I'm essentially running different um, sort of queries it doesn't have to be uh, specific I just I'm using a different combinations of uh, trying to mimic a real-life situation where you would be pulling different information so you may have a situation where you want to pull by a company name um, and also a contact name so let me do that and then we have parameters for, for country multiple fields and whatnot so let me go ahead and actually I'm going to run all of all three of these okay <coughs> excuse me so that was essentially customers and another thing I'm going to do is I will come back to this let me go over to my orders table again same idea I'm pulling uh, 100 rows here first then I'm pulling by customer ID I'm doing some filtration by the order date uh, ship date and whatnot so let me highlight all of these uh, by the way, in uh, SQL Server, whatever you highlight and execute is the portion of the statement that is going to run. I am pulling about uh, 44,000 rows there. And while I, after I do this, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch back to customers and just run the whole thing again. And uh, 
now if we actually switch to profiler you'll notice that we're definitely getting a lot more activity uh, some of these queries that are taking more than a more than a second this is in milliseconds or so whatever is taking more than a second is definitely a little more intense uh, let me switch back to management studio I will go back to the orders table and I will run the bottom one first and then I'm going to select everything and then run this again and then finally uh, I have a query which I'm calling the join table so this is going to be let me go ahead and run this and I'll explain this to you in this one what we are doing is we're pulling information from the customers to table only those rows that are common with the orders table and then further we are filtering by the customer ID and also where the freight charges are greater than 50 okay so you'll notice we are pulling about uh, half a million rows there so quite a bit of data and I'm going to go ahead and run this one uh, which is similar <clears throat> and the whole idea of this is that um, in a real world environment you are going to have a different kinds of loads running on the production database and um, so you will not have to really essentially run queries that I'm running uh, stuff will happen on your production server as it is being utilized now while uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and run these and then in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and run some more of these and then run uh, basically the orders uh, SQL statements okay so I think we have a good uh, we have a good uh, number of activity we only have let's see 56 rows so maybe maybe read on all of these one more time so I just ran the orders I'm going to go ahead and run this one again which is the join query between the two and then I'm going to go ahead and run the customers one more time okay so I think we are done with this we are going to go ahead and stop our trace so I'm simply going to go ahead and click on that now I'm going to switch gears and uh, start my tuning advisor and the way you do that is you can either go to start programs or you can go also to tools and data database engine tuning advisor it is going to go ahead and ask you to log into your server which is my local server by the way I am using SQL Server 2008 R2 so I log in and here's the screen <clears throat> on the left side you'll notice that I already ran uh, some traces uh, some some of these sessions earlier it just kinda keeps track of uh, those old ones if you needed to go back uh, I'm going to go ahead and stay with the one we just started and let me just go ahead and minimize this because I don't really need to talk too much about that uh, here's the name of the session uh, for our file we uh, for our workload in fact we are going to use a file you could also select tables if you wanted to well, we're not going to do that uh, we are going to find our trace which is happens to be in in the C drive under temp right here and here's my trace the trace for Northwind tray <coughs> database that I'm running I just want to make sure that does look right okay so that is the file that I am using and uh, for our analysis I'm going to go ahead and pick Northwind and then I'm also going to pick Northwind over here okay and it looks like it's gonna analyze all the tables uh, I could uh, you know really select customer 2 and orders 2 because those are the one we're interested in but just for the sake of simplicity let's go ahead and leave that let's go ahead and look at some of the tuning options uh, it tells you the time this is what I was talking about earlier about the physical design structures I am going to leave my default setting which is indexes and index views you can definitely you know pinpoint the areas that you're having issues with um, you could change the partitioning strat strategy which does not apply to us and then finally uh, we are going to go ahead and keep all of our existing PDS 
if you had a database that was really um, not performing well, you may want to select this option. We are not going to do that. And, there, and then there are a few options that are under advanced. Um, but let's go ahead and start our analysis. I'm just going to click on that. And now what it is doing is it is consuming the, uh, the, the profiler trace file. So I will pause this and come back. So I am back. It took a few minutes, uh, wrapped things up. You can notice that it went ahead and looked 